Good morning, everyone. Sweat Trainer Kayla Dennis here, and I'm so excited to be here with Women's Health Virtual. So this morning, I'm gonna take you through a high-intensity workout that I created just for you, and all you need is a chair. Now, if you're a beginner, if you're sitting down right now watching this and you're feeling a little bit anxious, you're feeling a little bit scared, don't worry, I'm gonna provide modifications through this workout. So yes, it is high intensity, but you're gonna go at your own pace. So, we're gonna get straight into the warm up. So we're gonna get down the ground. So again, if you are sitting down right now and you're watching me speak, I want you up, I want you with a chair or with a couch, with a step, with your bed, whatever you have. Down the ground, we're warming up. Now, this doesn't require any equipment. You don't need your chair for your warm up. Starting in three, two, one. And we're just gonna stretch back to start off with. So super easy, stretching back. And we're gonna stay here for a few seconds and then we're gonna stretch out our abs. You're gonna thank me later. Okay, so coming down and stretching out our abs. I definitely need this. So I trained abs a few days ago, so this is feeling great right now and back again. So we're just gonna go back and forth between these two. So child's pose, down. Anyone that does yoga watching this, I'm sorry. Flexibility is not my strong point. Down and stretching out those abs. Last one. Stretching out those abs. We're gonna move into mountain climbers next. In three, two, one. All right, we're moving into mountain climbers. So increasing the intensity, that's it. So bring our knees nice and close and our hands, our wrists are in line with our shoulders. Keep going, got 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Now watch me, we're going into a rotation. So stretching out and moving the middle of our back. Stretch that out. We're reaching one side only. Other side. So reach underneath, come all the way up. Good. Three more. Last one. Good, all right, sorry. Up, going out and back in. So these are plank jacks. So you're almost, imagine yourself being in push-up position and then jumping out and back in. Wrists and your shoulders are in line. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're moving into a hip flexor stretch. So when you're doing a hip flexor stretch, you do a lunge position and then you bring your foot a little bit forward. Stretch into it. Shoulders back, chest up. Swap legs. Good. So we're gonna do two rounds of this warm up. Got a few exercises to go. A few more seconds. Okay, now 90 90 stretch. Now this is what I need to work on. So we're gonna come forward and then we're gonna rotate towards our back foot. Forward, rotate towards our back foot. Like I said guys, flexibility, not my strong point. But we all need to work on something, right? So forward, towards your back foot. Swap sides. Yeah, that's definitely tight on me. A few more on this side. Last one. All right, and up into jumping jacks. Historically, around the world, I do this every time. I say star jumps and no one knows what I'm talking about because in Australia, we call these star jumps and everyone else calls them jumping jacks. But I said it right this time, jumping jacks. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, Six, we're going to go into high knees. Three, two, one. Let's go into high knees. So bring those knees up nice and high. Nice and high, core on. 
We're gonna go two rounds with this warm up. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna go down on the ground and move straight into those abs. A little bit faster this time. Let's go down and up. 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, straight into mountain climbers. So we're gonna do this a little bit faster now to warm up our bodies. Let's go 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, under and up. Well done. Swapping sides. Make sure you're breathing. Plank jacks, swapping. Nice and fast, out and back in. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. So if I stop moving, you don't stop moving because I'm giving modifications through this workout. So if you see me stop, you don't stop until I tell you break. Other leg. Breathing. Good, moving into that 90-90 stretch. Other side. We're coming up and going into those jumping jacks. And up. That's it. So ladies, I know right now it's hard to find motivation when you're working out at home, but I'm here to help you and show you how you can get a great workout in at home. Oh, talking and exercising at the same time. This is a skill. That's it, keep up those honeys. You've got 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, last five, four, three, two, one, break and grab a drink. Okay, so you should be nice and warm, nice and stretched out. We are going to move into circuit-based training. So we're gonna break it down into body parts. Legs are gonna go first. I won't confuse you with all the workouts. I'm just gonna go through bit by bit. So legs first, three exercises, three rounds. Now I'm gonna show you the exercises. You can practice them on the spot. So we have a double pulse squat, double pulse squat. Now we're going to do this with the chair. So remember when I said we're gonna use the chair? You got your chair right now? You're gonna come up, pulse, pulse, and up. So there's two different modifications, whichever one you wanna do. All right, then we're moving into a step up. Now, if you do not have a chair, you can do a lunge. So just a lunge on the spot, but I'm hoping everyone at home has got a chair, a couch, a step, something. And we're gonna do step ups. We're gonna alternate our legs. Perfect, all right. And then we're gonna do a lateral lunge. So standing with your feet apart, we're gonna lunge from side to side. You do not need the chair for this. You can, if you're losing balance, hold the chair, but you shouldn't. All right, so there are three exercises. Three exercises, three rounds, starting in. Three, two, one, and go. So we're up and back up again. So pulse, pulse, and back up. So 30 seconds. Good. So all of these are around 30 seconds. So. 
Your legs start to feel tired. Think in your head, we're only gonna have to do this for 30 seconds. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and 30 seconds of step ups. Now, when you're doing step ups, you don't want to step up and then grab your other foot and allow it to help you step up. You want to step up with that one leg and down. Okay, all the way up. Good, keep it going. Breathing up five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Feet apart. Good, lateral lunge. Sitting back. You should be feeling this in your glutes. Keep your feet facing forward. You don't want your toes pointing out. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And we're going up. That's it. Double pulse, squat. Again, if you don't have a chair, you don't need a chair, you can do it on the spot. Well done, you got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Back into step ups. Again, if you don't have a chair, you can do lunges. Ladies, I know right now you're working out at home and you feel alone, but I don't want you to feel like that. There are thousands of women all around the world doing this workout with you right now. Really push it out. It's easy to give up when you're at home. It's easy to get out of that zone and be like, no, nah, I'm gonna go do something else. I don't want you to feel like that. I want you to keep going. Three, two, one, into those lateral lunges. So remember what I said, three exercises, three rounds. This is round two. Sitting back into it. This workout is for everyone. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. If you are a beginner, just go at your own pace. At your own pace. You don't have to keep up with me. If you're working out with someone, you don't need to work out at the same pace that they're working at it. Just really take your time. If you need to, rest for a few seconds. Rub your legs out and keep going. Just don't give up. Four, three, two, one, let's go. All the way up, remember, you're not collecting your other foot on the way up. You're going all the way up before you swap legs. And if it helps, yes, my legs are burning too. So if your legs are burning, it's great. They should be. Five seconds, four, three, Two, one. Last few seconds. All right, let's increase the intensity, the pace. Just the last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, you keep going even though I stop. You keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay, rub those legs out a little bit. They're burning, shake them out. Okay, we're gonna move into our next body part chosen arms. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so the first one is a push up and reach. So you have, if you've got your chair in front of you, got your couch in front of you, you're just gonna reach forward and touch either side of that leg of your chair. So we're gonna go push up, reach forward, push up, reach forward. Now, with these workouts, you can modify them to suit you. If you don't wanna do the reach, you can just do push ups on the spot, only 30 seconds. Okay, then we're moving into tricep dips on your chair, on your couch, on your bed. Down and back up. Down and back up. And then moving into a plank rotation, which you can do on the chair or on the ground. I'm gonna show you on the ground. So, like this. 
Do the equal sign. Ladies, that sign on the ground. I'm gonna go up and rotate. Up and rotate. Up and rotate. Okay, everybody ready? I'll stop talking. Down on the ground, hope everyone's got a drink. Starting round one of three in three, two, one. And we're gonna go push up and reach. Now again, you do not have to do this on your toes. You can do this on your knees. There's no such thing, I'm still, I'm talking, but you guys keep going. There is no such thing as a man push up or a woman push up. There are two push ups and they are on your knees and on your toes and both are correct, whatever suits you. Good, five seconds. Four, three, two, one and up. Good, down and back up. Chest up, down and back up. Now, the way to make this easier is if you have the, your feet closer to you and on the ground, that's easier. To make them harder, your legs are straight. It's good, keep it going. You've got 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and that rotation. Ladies, there's nothing more that I wanted than to be over in the UK training you all in person. I was so excited, but I'm also equally as grateful to be able to bring you this amazing workout in the comfort of your own home. Just know there are thousands of other women doing this workout with you right now. I know you can't see them, but they're there. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Back into that push up and reach. Again, knees, toes, up to you. You can start on your toes, you can do a few on your toes, and then you can move down to your knees if you need. Keep it going. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six. See how I'm transitioning? Don't transition until I count you down. Three, two, one. Now you can get up. That's it. Tricep dips down and back up. Remember what I said. You want to make it a little bit easier? You can bring your feet in closer and plant them on the ground. It's totally up to you. Good, keep it going. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rotate. Rotate, rotate. Good, keep it going. Three, two, one, last round, let's go. Push up and reach. Push up and reach. Ladies, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can do this on your chair, but totally up to you. Keep going, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Woo! Arms are burning. I'm glad this is our last round. Now feel free, you can see my arms are burning. You can see that I'm adjusting myself to make it easier on my triceps. Always modify your workouts. Yes, I know, Kayla, stop talking. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All personal trainers count the same. Rotate, rotate. Good, I'm gonna stand up. I do not want you to stand up, all right? I'm counting you down. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, breathe, two, one, break. Okay, grab a drink. Okay, now that we've done arms, 
and they're burning. My arms are burning. My legs feel okay, but my arms. Hmm. Okay. Now my favorite. We're moving on to abs. Okay, so the exercises are. Oh, one second. So we are doing a raised leg sit up, and we're gonna clap underneath. So the trick is, or well not the trick is, don't do it. To make it easier, you obviously bring your feet closer to you, because then you can clap. To make it harder, feet are up further on the chair, so you have to sit up further. So we're gonna do those for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do an alternating bent leg raise, which means your legs are going above the chair and below the chair. Above the chair and below the chair. And then we're moving on to a Russian twist, which means your feet stay under the chair and we're just twisting from side to side. This is definitely gonna burn. Do I regret my decision? No. Okay, ready. Starting in three, two, one. 30 seconds, let's go abs, so up. and we're clapping underneath. Good. You can keep your head up the whole time. Imagine like an orange underneath your chin. So you're not tucking your chin up and launching forward with your head. It's all abs, think your abs first. Three, two, one, hands underneath your bum. You're going up and down, up and down. Feel free to rest the top if you need for a second and then keep going. So really control this. Now I have my head up and the reason I have my head up is because if I have my head down, my back automatically arches. It's just done this my entire life. I've been personal training for 11 years. I feel comfortable with my head being up. So if you feel like that, you can keep your head up like me. Three, Two, one, and moving into those Russian twists. Yep, that definitely burns, okay? Can confirm. Now, again, you don't have to go as fast as me, you can concentrate. But uh, fun fact, the slower you go with abs, <laughs> unfortunately, the more it burns. Keep going. Three, two, one, round two. You can stretch your hands out over your head, really stretch those abs out, and then get straight into it. Now, common mistakes when doing abs, people hold their breath, so they'll go, and then try and clap. It makes it worse. So try and breathe as normal as possible. Keep going. Three, two, one, hands underneath your bum. top and bottom of the chair. Now, if you're finding this really hard round two, you can just, put your feet on the ground, place your knees to, place your knees, bring your knees to your chest, and just do this as a modification. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, round two, almost over, Russian twist. Now again, are you my feet up? You can have your feet down on the ground if that's easier for you. I'm gonna keep saying this, there is literally no shame in modifying your workout to suit you. That's better. Focus on your form. Three, two, one, last round. So with these workouts, that is, you are at home and you think to yourself, it's quite easy to get up and do something else right now. I could just give up right now, no one will know. Oh, secretly, no, no, I'm <laughs> But I want you to not give up, I want you to keep pushing. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Three, two, one, swap. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit and sweat it out at home. If you're lucky enough to work out with a friend, that's awesome, we can use that next. Or a sister, your partner, your mom, anyone. We're gonna use them next. We don't need them, but we are gonna use them. Three, two, one. Russian twist. Last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, don't stop. Six, five, four, three, two, one, break. Get a drink. Remember in the warm up when we did that, 
abs to child's pose. You can do that now if you're on the ground and you want to stretch out your abs a little bit, but I've got to be up and I'm going to be telling you what you're doing next. Okay, so we're moving into a workout. It's a super set, but I like to call it a two minute workout because I'm going to set a timer for two minutes. Now, quickly explain this. If you are working out with someone, like your sister or your mom, anyone, they can be standing next to you. And when I call out swap, you guys can swap exercises. So I'm going to give you two exercises. One person does one, one person does the other, and then you swap. If you're working out by yourself, that's fine. When I call out swap, you swap exercises. Okay, so the first exercise is a lay down push up. The second exercise is an X mountain and climber across your body. Okay, so what they look like is lay down push up. So you're going to lay down. Hands are going underneath your chair, back underneath your shoulders, and you're gonna push yourself up. Again, you can do this on your knees or on your toes. So lay down, push up. Good. Okay, next. When I call out swap, you're gonna go into X mountain climbers. Okay, that's it, simple as that. And you're only gonna do it for two minutes, which means you're gonna go as hard as possible for just two minutes. It's gonna haunt you guys. You'll be sleeping tonight being just two minutes, just two minutes, three, Two, like I'm counting down as in we're gonna get down on the ground right now. If you're training with a partner, they can get on the chair to do X amount of time, but we're doing lay down push ups in three, two, one, let's go. So 30 seconds, lay down push ups, hands out, hands in. You bring on the outside of the chair. Try not to touch your hands along the ground. So we've got 30 seconds of this. Again, if you're training with a partner, they can be doing those X mountain climbers and when I call out swap you guys can swap if you're by yourself then when I call out swap we're gonna swap to those mountain climbers and you have let me check three two one and swap so I'm running mine out because this is a little bit more high intensity and it's only two minutes so I know in my head it's two minutes I can push myself a little bit more that's it now you can also walk this. So you can walk this. It really works your abs if you can get your knee to your opposite elbow. And we are swapping in three, two, one, last minute, hands out, hands in, and up into those lay down push ups. Again, you can drop down to your knees. So if you're watching me now, you can drop down to your knees. So if you're at home right now, don't stop. I'm just stopping to talk to you. If you're at home right now and you're wondering what is going on, we're doing a high intensity at home workout. So join in, all you need is a chair. You got five seconds, four, three, two, one, swap. Last 30 seconds. Again, if you just tuned in, get a chair. We're doing an at home high intensity workout. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You've got 10 seconds from now. That's gonna last 10 seconds, nine, I hope you, come on. Push, push, push. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and break, grab a drink. Okay, so that was the first two minutes. Let's do it again. Okay, so we have a plank with a bit of a rock, and then we've got a pop squat. Okay, so you can do this on your chair. Again, if you're with a partner, one of you can do it on the chair. So you're in a plank, you're gonna go down and back up. Down and back up. And I'll show you this on the ground. So this is easier on the ground, it's a little bit harder. So we're going down and back up into plank. Down and back up into plank. You're not falling down. Control down and back up into plank. And then we are up in a pop squat, so touching the ground in between our legs. If you don't want to do a pop squat, you can just do a regular squat, totally up to you, but it is high intensity, so move quite fast. You can also do a sit squat. I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, two minutes, remember I said. So all you have to think about in your head is just two minutes. Three, two, one, I'm gonna do mine on the ground, totally up to you, let's go. So, forward. Forward and back into plank. You can do this as slow or as fast as you want. You can hold it for a little bit, take a breather, forward and back. If you don't want to do the forward and back motion, just hold a plank. 
five seconds. Four, three, two, one. So I was saying before, for anyone that didn't hear me, if you have a partner, you're training with someone at the moment, one of you can do one of these exercises, while the other one does this. Sitting back. You can touch both hands at the same time, or you can alternate, I alternate. For some reason, I just feel like it's a better flow. Four, three, two, one. Down and back up. Good. Push it out. Keep going. Should get hard. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Hop squat. How many seconds do we have? I'm gonna count you down. <laughs> 15 seconds. Is anyone leg burning from the start? Nine, eight, seven, six, push it out. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay. Clapping, but you're not done yet. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, is what I love doing, combining all the exercises that you've done during this workout into one big circuit, one big list. So instead of giving you reps, I'm gonna give you time. And the time is 30 seconds. So you will never have to work out on that particular exercise for more than 30 seconds. So, we're gonna set a timer. It's gonna be seven minutes. We're gonna work out straight all those exercises. Starting with that double pulse sit squat. So, grab a drink, get your chair. Straighten myself up here a little bit for you guys. Okay, I'm stalling, can you tell? All right, going through that list. When you hear three, two, one, look at me. So really focus during your workout, but look at me and I'll have changed the exercise by the time you hear three, two, one. You jump up, you go straight into the exercise. The timer does not stop. This is the time, ladies, where we really need to get out of our comfort zone. We really need to push through and we're gonna finish this workout strong. Three, two, one, let's do this. So we're gonna go up, pulse, pulse, and back up. That is, self-care isn't doing a fancy face mask, okay? Sometimes self-care is just getting out of your comfort zone and doing something for you. Even if you don't want to do it, you know there's better you, you know that your future self will thank you for it. That's what self-care is. Putting that effort and time in for you. Three, two, one, step up. That's good. You do not have to go as fast as me. If you want to go faster than me, then that's awesome. But you do not have to go as fast as me. You can take your time, think about it, line up your foot. Make sure your foot, that's another thing, make sure your foot is fully on the chair when you're doing it. Don't just step up on your toes. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. You know, you've done it, you've done it. You know what's coming next. Breathing. We're moving into that push up and reach next. That push up and reach. You got 15 seconds. So everything we're doing, everything for 30 seconds. If you just joined in, we're in the last few minutes, but just get up anyway. Just join in. Four, three, two, one, and reach. Push up and reach. That's it, keep it going. Keep that core on, nice and strong. Got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, watch me. 
So straight up, you want quick transitions, okay? When we're talking about three, two, one, swap, we're talking about quick transition. How fast can you get into the next move? Because you only have 30 seconds. You got 10 seconds from now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Now I know you're feeling tired right now, but I really want you to focus on techniques. If that means slowing it down, that's okay. Everyone's feeling tired. If you're feeling totally exhausted, tired, out of your comfort zone, hot, that is totally normal. That's exactly how you should feel. That's exactly how everyone feels. But you just wait until we finish this workout. And that's the real feeling. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, quick transitions. How fast can you get into the next exercise? Like those mums that say, I'll time you. That's what I'm doing to you right now. I'll time you. See how fast you can get. So aim for three to four seconds to get into the next move. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Top and bottom of the chair. Take your time. Remember, you can rest for a second. Put your head down, take a big, deep breath. Keep going, do not hold your breath as well. Remember we said that. We do not hold our breath during our workouts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Move quickly into a Russian twist. Getting that good upper lip sweat going on here. Keep going. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Wait, what am I doing? I want to guess what I'm on the right thing. Confuse myself for a second. Let's go. Come back to arms. Thinking we've done arms, but we're on to our two minute workout moves. Keep breathing, make sure you can drop down on your knees. Don't stop just because I'm stopping. Three, two, one. Up on the chair if you need, down the ground. Now, you can do this on the ground. If you're already on the ground, you can run straight into those mountain climbers. Keep going. You got 15 seconds. Doing well. You got 10 seconds before you move into those rocks. So if you're looking at me now, I'm already doing the next move. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Keep it going. Well, this is really burning, guys, but you only have, you're, you only have two minutes. <laughs> Keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now listen. You can't walk out on me now. I decided to change the last exercise. And if, Anyone watching this has ever done my world tour before, you know exactly what I do. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> Moving into burpees in five, four, three, two. Now you can do this on your chair if you want. So this is a chair burpee, or you can do them on the floor. Totally up to you. Let's go. Keep it going, you can walk it out ladies, walk it out. But this is literally your last few seconds of the entire workout. 10 seconds, don't stop. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, 
One. And break. Okay, so we're gonna get down and do a cool down now. So let's get down on the ground. All right. Well done. You have done an incredible job making it through that entire workout. All right. One second, please. All right. So remember the warm up. We're going to use that same first move to cool down. I think you'll like this one, guys. And you might already be in this position <laughs> after that workout, but we're going to go down like this and we're going to cool our body down. I'm sorry, you have to listen to me breathe into this microphone. And we're going to come back up and we're going to stretch out those abs. Remember I said you thank me for this at the start? Yep. And back again. This is nice now. Before we're warming up, now this is just, we might just stay here. Good. Really stretch, even walk your hand forward and really stretch into that. And then down and stretching out those abs. I probably shouldn't have trained abs the day before I gave you this workout, but that's okay, live and learn. Last one, down and stretch out those abs. And we're gonna stretch out our hip flexors next. So remember I said during the workout, yes, it's hard and yes, it's tough, but it's that feeling after, that feeling of like, I did this by myself, for myself, that feeling, that's the feeling that I want you to have. Yes, I like understand completely that it's uncomfortable. Swap sides. I totally understand, I get that. It's uncomfortable, you're hot, sweaty, you're at home, there's other things to do. So many more priorities. Putting, working out and yourself last is completely normal. So if you've done this entire workout with me, amazing. Stretching out our glutes, incredible. If you're a parent right now at home doing this workout, your kids running around you, amazing. Even if you got bits of it done, even if you had to stop, like the fact that you did something, something is better than nothing. I always say that. Stop sides. If you're watching this right now and you just finished the workout and you're watching me stretch, but you're not actually stretching, you're gonna get down on the ground right now and you're the people are laughing. You're down on the ground, you're gonna stretch. Because tomorrow, you will be sore if you do not stretch. Just stretch out our hamstrings a little bit. Give me your back nice and straight. We just did a workout from home, guys. Sweating it out in the comfort of our home. You don't, this is what I mean, like, it's, Yes, if you're like me and you miss the gym, I totally get it. Because I love the gym, but I also love the fact that we can all do this together at home and get a workout and really smash a good workout out at home. That's good, keep stretching out those legs. I want to get used to you guys doing your recovery sessions as well. We don't skip these recovery sessions. Stretching out our quads. So this is where you can use your chair because a lot of people lose balance. So, like so, rather than sitting there. I remember like being primary school, <laughs> trying to stretch out my quads, wobbling on the spot. So you can really use that chair and stretch out your quads. Breathe. Big deep breaths. Doesn't feel like much, but it makes a massive difference. A massive difference. Stretching after your workout. Stretching out our pecs. Sorry, I just moved on to the next one without letting you know. Probably not all watching me right now. Still focus. I still want you to focus even when you're doing your stretches. I know right now it's like really easy to look around and be like, okay, now I'm gonna go clean the kitchen, but nope, 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 nope. Stay with me. You stretch out your body. Take it out, your triceps. Good breathing. 
We're almost done. We literally have one more. I'm just asking you, stay with me, stretch out and swap arms and do one more and then we are done. Let me know how you went, guys. Let me know how you feel. Send in some photos, send in your comments. How was that workout? Did you work out with someone from home? Your sister, your mom, dad, partner? Let me know. Three, two, one, and we're done. Ladies, oh, slapping that upper lip sweat. Oh, thank you so much, so, so much for joining me. I love doing this workout with you guys. And if you love these type of workouts, then you can check out my BBG program in the sweat app. I cannot wait to see you all in person. But for now, bye, I hope you enjoyed the workout.